to print out this uh, worksheet and make sure that you have some scissors and glue that you can use. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show that the Pythagorean relationship actually works. So the Pythagorean relationship is the relationship between this square here, this square here, and the diagonal square, which is a square plus b square add up to c square. So this area and this area together make up the diagonal square area. So this is what we're going to try to show. Okay, we're going to do uh, kind of a proof of this. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we just need to make sure we do our calculations here, make sure this actually works. So length of side A is going to be 5. I think the length of side B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so the area, we can count 25 squares. And here we're going to have 144 squares. And what we're trying to show is that, we're trying to show that C squared is 144. 69 squares so a squared so 25 plus 144 we should be able to get 169 squares out of here okay and we can see that we get 5 by 12 so that's going to be 30 in here 30 30 30 and this is a 12 minus 5 square so it's going to be 7 square 49 yeah, that seems to add up to 169. So that the calculation seems to work. But we want to actually physically show that this works. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we need to do some cutting. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut out A square and B square. And we're going to cut out C square as well. Okay, so first we're going to start with the A square and B square. I want you to cut those out. And on the last page here, on the very last page, this is what we're going to end up with on page five. This is a lot. We're just going to end up with this last page. Okay, you don't need to print out the blank ones. The blank ones are just in case you double side it. But we're going to show, we're going to cut out a square and b square. And first thing we're going to do is paste a square and b square into here. So we're going to put a square in here. Okay, I want you to glue it down. And then I've given you, I've act, this a square and b square is for the first, for the first uh, triangle. So it should fit. You should be able to fit your a square in there. Okay. And you should be able to fit uh, your b square. I'll do it in green here. You should be able to fit your b square in here. So I want you to cut those out, paste them down on here. Okay. So you should be able to show that those that area can be covered up by your a square and b square squares. Okay, so I'm going to go back to here. Okay, so this this square you're going to cut out. Okay, and you're going to show that it fits. You can glue that right on top of the b square on that template. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to do. And then you're going to do the same thing for a square. We're going to cut this one out, this one that I shaded. You're going to cut it out and show that it fits right on top of the a squared here. Okay, so paste it right on there and paste it right on there. Okay, so you're going to end up with a layer of a squared and b squared. What we're going to do is show that the c squared matches all of this. And to do that, we're going to chop up the c squared. Okay, so we're going to chop up the c squared into those these five pieces. Okay, so we have piece number one, two, three, four, those are all the same triangles. And then we're gonna have the middle piece, which I'm gonna call number five. Okay, so I'm gonna just color code these a bit. Okay, I'm gonna call this one, uh, the middle one, I'm gonna do in green. Okay, so number five. So what we're gonna do is take these five pieces and we're gonna show that they match the A squared and B squared. We're gonna lay it right on top of them. So you're going to have a layer already, so you're going to glue down a squared b squared, and on top of that, so we're going to glue first a squared b squared, and on top of what you've already glued down, you're going to put the c squared on top. So piece number five is going to be, actually I need to choose a different color here, uh, let's choose purple. Okay, so this number five piece is going to end up in here. Okay, we're going to see if it makes sure that see if it fits. You can see the, the five pieces showing up here. Okay, so I was just going to change the color here. So 
this is we'll change that to purple. Okay, so that that square that 12 minus 5 that 49 square should fit right onto there. Okay, they're gonna fit right onto there. And then the other the three the four other triangles there are, you're gonna show that you can glue them right on top of here. Here, so we'll call that one, two, three, and four. Okay, and if by doing so, we're gonna prove that a square and b square match exactly to c square because we can cover a square and b square with all the pieces of c square. So that's what that's gonna look like. So you're gonna end up with three layers so you're going to end up with an original layer you're going to end up with one layer of a square or b square and then you're going to end up a third layer of c square where you chop up c square to these pieces to show that these pieces can fit right on top of a square and b square and make sure you show the the, the c squared on top that's what we're gonna that's what you're going to show me at the end okay so that's the first part of this the second part of this, you're going to come up with your own triangle, okay? And you're going to do the exact same thing without a template. So you're not going to have a template this time, okay? So we have a template here, but you're going to need to do another one somewhere over here. So make sure you have enough space. Don't make your triangles too big, but we're going to draw another triangle. So I'm going to make this one, you know, I'm going to go five or six and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine let's go six and nine okay i'm gonna have six and nine and i'm gonna make my square here i'm gonna make a nine square oh this is not a very nice looking triangle okay so i'm gonna make a nine square off of this corner off this side sorry i'm gonna make a six square from this side and I'm going to use this triangle, the six by nine triangle, to get the corners of this diagonal square. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. There's my corner. Make sure you count accurately. If it doesn't look square, it's not square. So then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, make sure you count really accurately and if it like I said if it doesn't look square it's not square okay so we want to make sure that we've done it correctly okay so then I'm going to make my C square here and we're going to do the exact same thing okay I want you to do the calculations and I want yours to be different than what I just did here so I'm not going to accept one that looks exactly the same as this so 6 and 9 36 81 together these add up to 117 okay so I need to show that this area is 117 so it's going to be 9 uh, 6 times 9 divided by 2 is 27 27 27 27 so that's 58 sorry 54 108 108 plus 9 is 117 okay so the areas do match up so the second part of this will be, you're going to show me that A square and B square, you're going to cut those out nice and carefully, and you're going to place them on here, A square and B square, and then on top of that, you're going to paste the C square. So you need to be able to draw accurately the C square here, make sure you can get the corners, it has to be accurate, and then chop it up, make sure you can divide it up into the right triangle pieces, your four right triangles on the outside. Okay, and the one square on the inside, and I want you to show me that you can place them right on top of A square and B square on the grid here. Okay, and that's going to be what your assignment is, and you'll, you're going to hand this in, you're going to show me this, and I'll be checking this in class.